In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can create your first ebook in only four steps to help you figure out your ebook topic and a cool hack that I personally use that will help you actually write your ebook. Hey boss friends, it's Tisha. I teach new and aspiring entrepreneurs how to use online business tools to help you create your own business and be your own boss. Now, ebooks are a great way to enter the digital product industry to earn extra income online. Ebooks don't cost any money to make. It's just going to cost you a little bit of time and some effort. And my favorite thing about ebooks is that you already possess the skills and knowledge needed to create an ebook. You don't have to go learn a new skill in order to write an ebook. You already have the information that someone else feels that it is valuable and are willing to pay you for that information. So that brings us to our first step. And that is to figure out what your ebook topic should be about. The ebook should be based on your own personal skills, knowledge, experience, or hobbies that will help solve a problem or provide a result for someone else. If you work in corporate America, you can write an ebook how to break into the industry or give career advice. If you own a bookkeeping service, you can write an ebook letting other entrepreneurs know how to organize their business finances or how to prepare for tax season. So as you can see, there are a variety of ways that you can use your own knowledge and skills to create an ebook. So you want to just take a moment to brainstorm a few ideas. So you want to write down a few skills and knowledge that you could possibly write an ebook on. You just want to think about what are you the go-to person for and can that information help solve a problem or provide a result for someone else. Step number two is to plan out your ebook content. In this step, you want to write an outline based on the topic that you chose in step number one. Some key elements of an ebook include an introductory page. This is just a page where you write a little bit about yourself as the author, possibly provide a copyright statement and any legal disclaimers. You can include a table of contents that's optional. It doesn't need to have a table of contents. Um, your content pages, which will be the bulk of your ebook, and this is where you're going to write down all the information that you want to share for your ebook. And you also will need a closing page. This can be a simple thank you page or a what's next page. So for an example, if you want someone to visit your website, book a consultation or follow you on social media, that information will be on the closing page of your ebook. Step number three is usually the hardest part about creating an ebook, and that's sitting down and writing out the information. Even though we have the skill set and the knowledge, trying to get the information from our brain onto paper can sometimes seem difficult. If you're anything like me, when I sit down and try to write, I sometimes get writer's block. So a cool hack that I found very useful is to speak out the information that I want to put in my ebook by using the microphone option on Google Docs, Microsoft Word, or even on the notepad on your mobile phone. I also do this with my YouTube video content when I plan out and write it out, and this has been a game changer for me. So what you want to do is open a Google Doc, Microsoft Word, or even the notepad app on your phone. Use the microphone feature to speak out the content that you want to include in your ebook. And this is going to be based on the outline that you created in step two. Once you have all of that information recorded, then you go back to edit and organize your written content. Step number four is where I find to be the fun part of creating the ebook, and that is to design your ebook. You don't need to overcomplicate this process, and please don't feel like you have to be a graphic designer to create or design an ebook that looks and feels great. There are tons of ebook templates that you can use to design your ebook. You can visit a website called creativemarket.com. You can search through their marketplace for ebooks and purchase an ebook template from them. You can also purchase a template using Etsy. And my go to place for creating ebooks is Canva. Canva has tons of ebooks templates that you can choose from. And best part is it's absolutely free to use. Now, I will be making a part two to this video where I will show you how to design your ebook 
using Canva. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that video. So those are the steps to creating your first ebook. Let me know in the comments your ebook topic. I want to know what you guys come up with. Also, if you have any questions, drop those in the comments as well. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.